Major powers have been racing to develop advanced missiles, some of which are long-range and having hypersonic speed. USA is developing new missiles to replace their older ones, and these new missiles are undoubtedly versatile, having the ability to be used for both precision conventional strikes and nuclear missions. Let's check out the 10 upcoming deadliest missiles of USA. So firstly, we have the AGM-183 air-launched rapid response weapon. This is a hypersonic cruise missile manufactured by Lockheed Martin to be used by the United States Air Force. The AGM-183A has a claimed maximum speed of Mach 20 and an operational range of about 1,600 kilometers or 1,000 miles. The weapon uses a boost glide system in which it is propelled to hypersonic speed by a rocket on which it is mounted before gliding towards a target. This hypersonic missile will be deployed by bombers such as B-1, B-2 and B-52 as well as upcoming B-21 radar. Up next, we have the SM-6 ground-launched cruise missile. The US GLCM is a variant of the standard missile SM-6 intended to fill the gap between the precision strike missile and the long-range hypersonic weapon. In November 2020, Lockheed Martin was awarded a $339 million contract to produce the missile by 2023. The SM-6 GLCM has the capability to swat down air-breathing threats such as aircraft and cruise missiles over great distances while also having a terminal ballistic missile defense capabilities. In March 2016, Lockheed Martin began analysis on an enhanced wing design to further increase range. The corporation was granted a contract in September 2018 to produce extreme-range variants of the AGM-158. This is called the JSSM-XR, formerly known as the AGM-158D. The weapon would weigh around 2,300 kilograms and have a range of 1,900 kilometers with a 910 kilogram payload. At a unit cost of $1.5 million, the missile features a new missile control unit, changes to the wings, a different paint coating, an electric safe and arm fuse, a secure GPS receiver, and a program protection requirements. Up next is the Maritime Strike Tomahawk. This is a modified variant of the tactical Tomahawk land assault cruise missile designed to destroy surface ships at ranges of up to 1,600 kilometers. The missile's principal mission is to keep the Chinese Navy's surface force at bay in the South China Sea. It will have increased navigation and homing capabilities, allowing it to take out targets at vast ranges with exceptional effectiveness. By 2023, the U.S. Navy plans to deploy the new missile on board surface ships and submarines. The hard target kill variant will be equipped with an upgraded warhead capable of eliminating densely built enemy assets. AGM-181 LRSO Raytheon Technologies AGM-181 long-range standoff weapon is a nuclear-armed air-launch cruise missile that will replace the AGM-86 ALCM. According to Defense News, the USAF may purchase more than 1,000 LRSO missiles, which are expected to have a range of more than 2,400 kilometers. The LRSO will be launched from a variety of aircraft, including the B-52 and the Northrop Grumman B-21. The goal of the LRSO program is to create a weapon capable of penetrating and surviving integrated air defense systems while also pursuing key targets. It is expected to achieve initial operating capability in 2030. Up next is the AGM-88G AARGMER. This is a new variant of the agm 8 e missile, which features several upgrades focusing on extending its operational range and survivability. It reportedly doubles the range and speed of the agm 8 e which would result in the AGM-88G's range being around 300 kilometers and the speed of Mach 4. 
The USAF later joined the program, involved in internal F-35A, F-35C integration work, and selected the AARGM-ER to serve as the basis for the land attack standing attack weapon. It is expected to attain initial operational capability in 2023. Up next is the Grey Wolf. The U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory has awarded Lockheed Martin a $110 million Phase I contract to develop and demonstrate Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf is an upcoming subsonic cruise missile developed by the U.S. Air Force to counter integrated air defense systems using networked collaborative operations technologies. The missile concept developed by Lockheed Martin will be a low-cost counter IAD missile capable of operating effectively in highly contested environments. The Grey Wolf technology demonstrator is expected to be operational by 2025. Up next is the Precision Strike Missile. This is a next-generation, low-risk, long-range surface-to-surface missile designed for the U.S. Army's PRSM program. The new ballistic missile will give armies the ability to neutralize a variety of enemy threats, including missile launchers, air defense systems, troop assemblies, staging areas, and command and control centers. It will also be capable of destroying targets using missile delivered in direct fires out to more than 499 kilometers. The Precision Strike missile is expected to achieve early operating capability in 2023. Up next, we have the long-range hypersonic weapon. This is a surface-to-surface -surface hypersonic missile planned for use by the United States Army. The LRHW is a ballistic missile that will boost the common hypersonic glide body warhead to Mach 5 speeds. The missile is scheduled to enter Army service in 2023. It can be launched from either land or sea. The United States Army intends to deploy the long-range hypersonic weapon in an 8-missile battery containing four M983 trucks. The Navy plans to deploy the weapon aboard Zumwalt-class destroyers by 2025, followed by Block 5 Virginia-class submarines in 2028. Lastly, we have the Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent or LGM-35A Sentinel. This is a U.S. land-based intercontinental ballistic missile system in the early stages of development, slated to replace all four 15-minute Man-3 missiles in service with the United States Air Force from 2027 onward. The new missiles, to be phased in over a decade from the late 2020s, are estimated over a 50-year life cycle to cost around $86 billion. In March 2019, the W87 Mod-1 thermonuclear warhead was selected for GBSD, replacing the W78 warhead currently used in Minuteman 3. With this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more videos from the buzz.